Hi everyone, in this quick video I want to show you how you can use the new notes table feature. So what you're seeing here is um, my folder projects and this is how it can look like when you have set up everything already. And uh, how you can access the feature is just by clicking on any folder or you can also click on the heading notes to see all your notes and to group them, filter them and so on. So now I have just clicked on projects. So this is a folder with limited notes. And uh, you can see here, I have already um, grouped it by, I think, uh, the type. And uh, I have various types here, uh, project, feature, idea, research, roadmap. And I have prepended a number before the type name so that it sorts also alphabetically by the type. Um, I mean, it sorts the groups by the type. It can also sort the notes inside the groups. And I have also another uh, field which is called domain. I just called domain, didn't know exactly how I should call this, but this is to differentiate between personal and uh, basically work. For me, it's no plan notes so that I can either show, uh, look at my personal notes or my no plan notes in my project folder in this case. And then also you can uh, select which fields, uh, so besides grouping so this is grouped by type and uh, it's still a beta so things might change and things how how they look like will also change probably and uh, there are a couple of um, default fields which is um, which by which you can also group which is tags date and folder because not all nodes have tags but all nodes have date and folder and also you can um, turn on off fields visible fields here on the right side so right now date is turned on, so maybe we don't need this. You can also turn it off and uh, folder is turned on. So this is the direct folder of the node. There could be like multiple nested nodes, like f five, six levels and so on, but it will only show the immediate apparent folder. And if you click on uh, a folder here, it will show all the nodes inside the folder. Even if it's nested in five subfolders, it will just show all the nodes flat. Um, so you can group it by the fields and I show you how you can set up those fields. So there are a couple of uh, default fields, as I was saying, um, tags, date, folder. And here are a couple of uh, fields which I have set up myself. So which I call the domain, uh, status and type. So the status is, or this uh, can be, in my case, uh, it can be anything you want, but in my case it's active planning, closed, and waiting. So we can also to see all the different states or st status, uh, click on the grouping. And you see, I also used here a numbering system. Very simple, just one slash. Uh, I didn't use dash because slash just looked better in this case. And I used it with emojis because then it's easier to see here on the right side, okay, this is active. This is planning, this is waiting, this is closed and so on. Much, much easier to identify it if uh, you use emojis with your text or you can just use an em emoji uh, without text as well. But this looks, uh, um, everything makes it look better this way. So these are my different uh, status variables or uh, values which I've used. Uh, type I already showed you. Uh, this is um, uh, just turned on off types. I want actually to group it by type. And <coughs> so I have projects, features, idea, research, and roadmap. And also, um, yeah, filtering, I already explained. That right now it's filtered by domain and using the value no plan and not personal. Uh, you can filter by also by the other values which you have here. Or let's also, you can group by folders and see which uh, all the folders you have. It's, it's similar to the folder view in the sidebar basically. The last thing which we didn't talk about yet is um, the sorting. So you can sort the notes. I, at the moment it's sorted by status. You can sort it by title, then uses the text uh, inside the of the notes. You can sort it ascending and descending and change the sorting here. And then let's have a look at uh, some of the notes um, so I can show you how it looks like. So for example, here we have the node shortcuts where I collect um, ideas to uh, improve the shortcuts in no plan and um, here you see 
the fields which uh, I have added, the custom fields you can say, are coming from the front meta of um, the node. So how can you write this front meta? It's actually quite easy. I just cut it out to show you. You can type the uh, three dashes and it creates this line. And it needs to be the first thing inside the node, the first text you encounter in inside the node. So before the actual title, you type the first uh, three dashes to create the starting line. Then you type another one and just remove the space here. And now you can type out your uh, front meta fields. These are key value fields. So for example, key, colon, value. This is how you can type them. And now let me paste back what we had before. So in this case, status, colon, um, I use uh, two, slash, then I use an emoji, planning, type, and every new line can have one key value pair. And you can also create this through a template, project node template here. So the template itself needs a front meta, uh, just for example, to name the template, which title should it have. So the same way, <coughs> I've created templates here and then after uh, the front meta and after this front meta you can create the front met meta which should be pasted in s into the project node so you don't need to type it out every time so you can also just leave it empty for example and uh, in this case you use two dashes in the template so this is the front meta you want to be inserted into your node so that's why you use two uh, dashes in this case. And let's create a new node in projects. New node. And uh, I just delete this so it doesn't create any issues. And project node template. And you see we have the front meta. And now I can name the node some project and type in the type and everything. Maybe it's e easier if you already uh, insert the uh, possible types and you just delete the ones you don't need. Uh, so let's go back. For example, we can say, I don't know, um, type project, make this project. And then there is uh, idea research and so on. But it's just an idea I had. Um, maybe there are other ways because we don't have um, a key value selector yet. Let's go back to the test node here, insert it, and then I would just then delete this one, for example, so you don't need to remember the value. Uh, you can just delete the ones you don't need. So this is how it works. We can open this one again. So now you've seen um, how this looks like. So we have the, um, the fields, in this case, status, domain, type. Um, let's also have a look at the tags and filter again the domain. So it should remember what you have used uh, for filtering, uh, but it's still a beta, so not, not everything will work perfectly. So you see here, I have one node which uh, with a ton of uh, just randomly created tags just to test it. And if you have too many tags, it will um, it will just show three and then a drop down of the rest of them or all of them in this case. You can also use it for um, like uh, book notes and so on, where you define uh, what is the author, uh, what is the name of the book, what is the genre, is it sci-fi, is it non-fiction, and so on, and then get a nice overview of, of everything, maybe even the rating, uh, if it's just an example for something which is not a project in this case, and maintain your uh, folder of notes this way. So before we had a very simple list of notes inside the folder when you clicked on it. So this is basically uh, an upgrade and finally we can use the front meta inside the notes. And we thought why not integrate it because we experimented with this before. And we can also integrate it into iOS but let's first uh, exp um, see and uh, experiment with it on macOS. I hope you liked this and let me know what is your feedback and the ideas of how we can um, group and sort things here. Thanks for watching.